Hey, what's in those green back and over today? Please just excuse this big mess behind me. Yeah, I'm gonna pretty sure name on Daddy Tree. My desk is an absolute mess. Got level, I've got a new leash for Harley actually. And can you use what brand it is? Of course, rocks. Camera bag. Whole bunch of long nonsense. I wanna find where I'm gonna fill my rosettes. Yeah. Cause I guess you guys don't know I used to drive lots of used to do a lot of Sinisa and all that nonsense as well, so yeah. This is a lot of the different rosettes I want. It's not even half of them actually. That are one while doing horse riding, so yeah, but in today's video, mine is a very dirty, 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 dirty glass of one. There's actually a fish over there, that little guppy with the orange tail and the black body. The one there just above my nail. There you go. He's a new guppy. I actually bred him from the bottom tank and put him in here two days ago, whatever. And yeah, so I'm actually going to do the quick little water change and stuff. And I'm going to kind of show you guys the proper way to kind of clean your halter, in a sense. And the way I do it. I'm not going to really clean this one here because this one you never really ever needs to get it clean. But yeah. So I'm going to scoop out. Debris, netted in debris, this tank will be clean. Okay, so this is a DIY siphon hose that I've kind of built. It's got it's just a water bottle, and in the lid there's a hole, and it's got a hose pipe coming through and out. It's nothing long or fancy. I actually want something longer that I could run straight out into the grass, but this one's gonna work for this application now. Um, or I actually want to get something that I can join from here to say connect to that one laying over there. Just run out into the grass and when I actually walk, can walk to the garden, something like that. Just to make a little bit of water change a little bit easier. But yeah, to put you down there, I'm actually just gonna turn off the entire tank because it's gonna become very dark because of the light I'm being on. So yeah, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna push this in there, I'm gonna grab the other end, I'm gonna suck up, and I'm gonna fill up the bucket of water quickly. And by the way, catch up and get a lot of videos again ahead because exam times are basically starts in like three weeks time for me. I've got this week of holiday and then I've got two weeks of school then I start exams. So yeah, so I'm just going to fill up the bucket just with water then I'm going to clean up the filter and that nonsense first. And then stuff, you don't, depending on what type of water change you want to do will depend on as well how much water you need to pull out. But I'd recommend not really putting in like half of the water properly. If you want you can go through and suck out half the your gravel but what I'll do is I'll do that a bit later I'll do that off camera just to make life a little bit easier and yes the fish do like to swim up in here and get a little bit stuck sometimes and it's fine it's all part of the process but this ultra dog bucket it's actually supposed to hold dog food and stuff there, but I use it for the aquarium because we've actually got more than one of these buckets. And trust me, this the bigger the bucket is, the bigger the fish is. I suppose they make a tank like this underneath, and make life a little bit harder to clean it out and that nonsense there. Yeah, first bucket's almost finished. And all I'm going to do is lift this up and I'm going to break the little stuff in there. Like so. I actually want to add this one rock in here somewhere. Where have I been? No idea. Over here is quite empty in that instance, so maybe I might drop it in somewhere over here. You know what? Let me get actually my filter out first and I'll find home for that rock, maybe. Okay, so this is basically similar to a sponge filter, whatever. We've got a little knot there in the cable, which I should actually unknot. But yeah, so I just picked it up and I just dumped into this bucket of water. Um, everything's off in that nonsense there, so we're safe to work with. So what I do is, this water's going to get very dirty by the way, and always use fish tank water, so the water you fill up your tank to do this. And then to dispose of this water, so this thing here is always a pain that you can also get like a, you know, like a bottle brush, big bottle brush and wipe and you to clean this thing out. You can, lots of different methods to get this thing clean. Let me get this thing quickly clean. You can just do it by shaking around. You blow out all those holes. You can bang them along the side of the bucket to get stuff out. Yeah. 
and needs a full time man who's actually keen other day. Um, yeah, I don't know why my tank got quite dirty recently, but yeah, I suppose it happens when you've got tons of little fish in one tank, so the, the bio load does increase quite a bit. But yeah, I'll come through and give this a good clean. Okay, so this is kind. So this is cleaner. A little bit of stuff in there still, but yeah, that's actually algae that's grown in there, and as well on the side there. Don't really can pick it up it nicely. Over there, you can see a little bit of algae. A little bit of string algae and that stuff there, like moss, whatever. I don't actually have moss in this tank yet. I want to get some moss, but yeah. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is, and that's clean. We're just gonna pull this thing apart. There's a little snail that must be pulled out of here. So let's quickly just dismantle this filter. Okay, so I always like to start off the base is some more snail that I must quickly remove. I actually need something that would be quite cool to sit and work with this GoPro with. Yeah, I've kind of got a goodish position. Yeah, that's disgusting. But the reason why I'm doing this in this water is actually not that bad as what I thought it was. That bad. So the reason why I just come through and just clean out in this water here is just to make it that all the good bacteria, because this water's already dechlorinated that one since there, and straight water out the tank, so it was water it was staying in. But this is now dirty water that's going to be taken out the tank. So fresh clean water can be put into the tank, just for the good stuff. So that's clean, you can put that aside. You can either fill up another bucket or something, but that's not going to be out the water for too long. So it should be fine. So I'm get this thing somewhat clean. And yes, this does clean it more than enough. Oh hey, goodness me. Let me quickly clean this one now. Okay, so this is clean. Pina, can you please keep quiet? I'm going to do now so I'm just going to put this back in there and do the same process with the other one of these. It just, look, it's from underneath here. Then I'll get back to it. Alrighty, so this one here is done. That feels into my face. So these filters are done, and there's a little bit of marks in this algae that just can't get off. Okay, now it's this thing here, I'm just going to pull this piece off the bottom there, it just flips into there, give this a quick little rinse down and clean. So this is supposed to be like a little baskets, just so nothing big can get through into it, even though there's like stuff that does still seep through, but it's nothing major. King this little cap up here which holds everything else on. Quite a simple press. I always pull this piece of parcha to actually open up the filter of the piece. Pull this little piece here, give us a fan piece of good little clean down. Everything. It's quite a simple process. Um yeah. Just want to make sure everything's quite nice and clean. Yeah, the reason why the filter's getting quite a bit of algae on it is because it's right underneath the light. And stuff. And I'm actually might be upgrading my tank quite soon. To a one that's more narrow but a lot more taller that holds more water. So I'm gonna have a little bit of problem with the play goes in instance, but it's gonna be and it's gonna be tall. And over here all I do is I just normally just do a little bit of blowing and just clean this thing out. Just to push every debris that's in your out. The reason why it sounded like that is because I was holding it actually in the water. There we go. Then you burn on by your face. Um. I'm gonna make sure everything else is clean in here. Hope you guys can see me. Okay, it's done. I'm just gonna quickly just reassemble this thing. So it was assembled first. Basically, just do everything in reverse once you finish to assemble it. No, you can't lose it. Water, I'll show what this water looks like now. It's quite dirty. And I cleaned this thing actually a couple of days ago. Not a lot. Days ago, like I think it was three days ago, four days ago. But, yeah. The tank's been battling a little bit. Um. Okay, I'll just put it back into place. The reason why it was quite dirty is because there's tons of snail eggs down there. That's the water. It's actually very clean, surprisingly. 
um, it's got a lot of debris in it, but that's all like snail eggs that have like, you know, just decomposed and like, once it's there, so this is very clean. Ah, uh, this filter, which normally comes quite brown. My stuff in here is not so lot at all. And then what you do is, you go to garden, go dump it into your garden. Okay, and the simple reason why I say go dump it in your garden is, hello, you know you're going to make pina quite dirty. Okay, and it's in the garden there now. It's because of the fact, what's the gardening in the, in the garden? Not the gardening, but the garden. Actually, the garden and the plant, they soak up at nutrients, so all that stuff decomposes into a fertilizer. Hey, art. Thank you. Miss girl, you are naughty. No. Okay, I'm gonna quickly come through net up, you know, any debris in that nonsense in here. Let's back a little bit more halfway. And then everything in here, and then I'm gonna go top it up. I'll get back to you and I'll fill it up. You're making Peter a little bit unhappy, eh? No. I'll complete it just now. Your peanut hates other dogs coming to my room. And yeah, we're my, so that's the main door to get throughout the house, so this is the that gets onto the garden. Which is nice finding one of these. Still a window in that lunch over there. See why the other two are not inside of you because you. And you are just too naughty and you don't see what I mean. Which is why you get attacked from Harley as well, Pim. Because Harley gets upset with her, him. And decides, no, I want to be with me as well. But I'm not, my, I'm only a peanut, not only a Dakota. Because of the fact that this is her house too and she's allowed to be in here. That's right, peanut, she can be in here. There we go. Let's get back to this thing. This might be a little bit long, I'm sorry if it is. Let's get back to it. And he's quiet. I think this is all my fault a little bit because he gets fed and he sleeps in here, but... He would only eat to my room when he was a puppy and now just habit for him to come eat you. Peanut! He's not hurting the grass whatsoever. He's like trying to be big boss and she's like, dude, calm down. I'm not moving anyway. I'm comfortable. Yeah, I mean, she's my room is because he he's very naughty at night and when he's in my room, he said he sleeps and once every five minutes wants to get out and in and out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. So he should a lot more sleep now than he's sleeping here because when he's done where other dogs are sleeping, as well in the house. Yeah. Now our dogs sleep inside, outside, wherever they really want to sleep that night in the night, but nine them was always inside. And they spoiled. All the other dogs used to kind of sleep outside when I was really young. My parents rules, but then we got licorice, she was the first dog that came inside. And then Peanut came inside, and then Harley came inside, and the Kurtz came inside, so yeah. We saw the all the dogs just come inside, just because. And yeah, it's actually a lot more nice without them. You actually get to know them a lot more better than when they're just stuck outside. And they do not get crates or anything, they've got beds, exactly like this, the other three girls, all the girls as well, somewhere else. They just got bigger beds than Peanut because they get bigger. Harley, even the has got a big bed. The got the same bed as those two there because. She's only get to that size. The reason why we don't as well put them in crates and kennels and stuff is because if I don't want to sleep in one of those, why well, should they? If I want to be able to move during the night around, so so should they. So yeah. And they're good dogs and they listen very well, so yeah. They do have their safe space where they can go to, which I know some people do it as you know, almost as a safe space for them. But it's their space they can go in there, you know, if they feel threatened or whatever. For them, it's their beds, and there's nothing really to threat, feel threatened about because they're on their own property and not earth like that. This is their own natural habitat and not natural, but like own environment, and they're used to it and should not be feel threatened in their own. Okay, so that's all done now. It's just time to fill up and it's there. So I'm going to use municipal water. So wherever you're from, and you might know the city water, or whatever that nonsense there. It's not natural water, in other words, it's water that's been, it's been treated with chemicals that nonsense there. Um, packing everything back in there. There's a lot of stuff in there, I don't know why. You actually just go and get rid of all the stuff. Um, and I use a bucket because I've had no near really hose pipe to plug it into. Where my tank was, on the other hand, you where it used to be, it used to be fine. Sure. So I've taken that. We need a bucket of water, so 
four liters forever drop mm, no, no. so i'm gonna quickly just dechlorinate the water just always read your instructions first etc like that I always dechlorinate the water first and then i check it in so it's just safer but yeah so let me quickly add this in then i'll go grab the water to go dechlorinate so that nonsense like that whoops i over did it a little bit but you know what that amount of pretty is nothing at least I'd rather be a little bit safer and have a little bit more in than a little bit too little. And it looks a little bit disgusting, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, that thing I'm gonna stick in there. So let me quickly go grab water and go pull this out. So you see I'm using a bucket of water. I'm just gonna drop it on top of some instruction. I'm gonna fill this tank up and then we're done. Okay, basically. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat of a very long video. Hopefully it's not too long. I have to try to dumb it down quite a bit in editing, but yeah. Hopefully it's not it's good enough. Definitely gonna be more than 20 minutes, hopefully. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, go down and subscribe to the next video. And of course, like this video. I shall see you in the next video. Peace.